Hi everybody. I want to show you how to connect an Asus router to a community fiber um, internet service. I've got a one uh, gigabit per second internet service. It comes with um, a Linksys Velop router, which looks um, a bit like this. Um, when it's installed, uh, the engineers will hook up the router uh, to test everything. The problem with that is that that then locks the MAC address which is on the bottom of the router here. You can see the MAC address there at the bottom. And that locks that in and caches uh, that into memory on the community fiber uh, network. So if you change that router, uh, nothing's gonna happen because it will see a different MAC address and it's always gonna be looking for the one uh, on the Linksys supplied router. But you can get around that. So this is the um, Asus, a typical Asus um, web interface. So if you log into the router, the first thing you wanna do is scroll down to WAN. Now the first thing that you can try is to uh, spoof the MAC address. So at the bottom of the WAN tab, you can see here MAC address. So you would take the MAC address from the bottom of the supplied community fiber linksys router and then enter that there and then hit mac clone uh, i've seen a lot of people say that that's all they needed to do and it worked straight away uh, for me it didn't so i called customer care and asked them to reprovision uh, the port so they cleared out the um the mac address that's stored on their system and then as soon as you uh, plug in the uh, Asus router, the MAC address from the Asus router will update and be stored for the future. Uh, so that then could get you up and running. For me, it didn't. Um, I had to make one more change. So if you, on the same WAN tab, you see the connection type. Uh, for my last provider, BT, I had to use PPOE, uh, but for Community Fiber, I had to use automatic IP. So they were the only changes that I had to make, and now it's working perfectly. I'm getting a full gig. If you saw one of my earlier videos, uh, I showed you a speed test. So that's all you need to do. Uh, it will be any combination of those things. So set this, uh, the WAN connection type, to automatic IP. If that doesn't work, you can try uh, the Mac cloning feature uh, by using the MAC address at the bottom of the uh, Linksys Velop router. If that doesn't work, just call up customer care and uh, tell them what you're doing and they're happy to reprovision the port for you. Um, and then you should be up and running. Anyway, I hope that helps. If it does, please consider subscribing and uh, even hitting that notification bell and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, everybody.